Probably my favorite thing about science, though it's hard for me to choose just one, is the fact that science lets us explore the world around us. Everything around us can be better investigated through the lens of chemistry or physics or biology. And personally, I love turning that lens back on ourselves to investigate how tiny molecules come together to create living, thinking, working bodies. But when we think of investigating our own bodies, we normally assume that, at least anatomy-wise, we have all of this down already. We all have a heart and lungs and kidneys and a liver. We must know most of this by now. But just this past week, a new body part was discovered. Harman Derdua of the University of Nottingham discovered a sixth previously undescribed layer of the cornea. By using injected air to separate the layers of cadaver corneas and then imaging them with an electron microscope, he discovered a new previously undescribed layer. Researchers believe this layer might be involved in corneal hydrops, a buildup of fluid in the cornea, and unsurprisingly, this new layer is going to be dubbed the Dua layer. For me, this discovery isn't so exciting because of what or where it is. Sure, the vision system is cool and it's really exciting that we found a new body part and also maybe a bit poetic that the body part we found was part of one of our own main investigative organs. But for me, the most amazing part is that despite all we know about the human body, there's still more to discover. Explorers of the past used ships to go off and discover distant lands and new continents, but now, for me at least, the new frontier is human bodies and learning more about medicine and using things like genome sequencing and high-resolution brain scans to learn more about the bodies that we inhabit on a daily basis. So for me, there was nothing better to highlight on this, the 50th Bite Size video, than a short, simple reminder that we need to look no further than within ourselves to constantly surprise ourselves with new scientific discoveries. Go forth, do science.